Sometimes, something truly innovative crosses my desk. Other times, they make a robot version of your cameraman's greatest fear. Sorry, Alex, but uh, here comes the sloth bot. I'm not afraid of them, they're just stupid. Researchers from the Georgia Institute of Technology created a robot designed to be slow and deliberate. Modeled after the slow tropical mammals, the Slothbot is a wire riding, solar powered robot designed to monitor the environment. Just how slow? Note the footage. Yeah, yeah, that's actually three times the actual speed. See that 3x in the corner? That's not going anywhere quick. The Slothbot is powered by two photovoltaic panels and designed to continuously measure environmental changes like the weather or chemicals in the area. It could also be used for infrastructure maintenance, precision agriculture, and security applications. The Slothbot consists of 3D printed gears as well as other components that it uses to cling to wires. It uses these parts to complete basic maneuvers like switching from wire to wire or hanging on in the event of a malfunction. The robot has two bodies connected by an actuated hinge. Each body has a driving motor connected to a rim on which a tire is mounted. According to the researchers, the wheels are not only simple, but more efficient and safer than other types of wire-based locomotion. While robot technology has continued to push for faster, more agile, and more extreme robots, Slothbot was designed based on the team's, quote, theory of slowness. I mean, after all, slow and energy efficient means less downtime spent recharging. The proof of concept was presented at the International Conference on Robotics and Automation in Montreal and could soon be found hanging above the Atlanta Botanical Garden. Next, the team plans on creating a new 3D printed enclosure that is not only gonna help protect the onboard camera and other components, but also make it look more like a sloth. I just hope they make sure to give it a creepy smile. I mean, it doesn't have claws, does that help? Alex? I'm not afraid of them, they're just stupid. Researchers from Poztec in South Korea have 3D printed artificial corneas. What's interesting, you know, other than the 3D printing eye parts, is that they are dangerously similar to human corneas. A recent study found that more than 184,000 corneal transplants were performed in 116 countries in 2012. The corneas, came from about 742 different eye banks. And yet, about 53% of the world's population still doesn't even have access to the technology. I mean, not to mention the waste. About 35% of these corneas in storage were deemed unusable. About 12.7 million people are still waiting for a transplant with a median wait time of six and a half months. Until now, artificial corneas were made with recombinant collagen or synthetic materials, and they didn't have a high success rate. One of the biggest problems is that the artificial corneas aren't transparent. The Postec team 3D prints its artificial corneas using a bio ink made from corneal stroma or the supportive and connective tissue around the cornea combined with stem cells. Because these implants are made of corneal tissue derived bio ink, they're biocompatible. And by regulating the shear stress during the 3D cell printing process, the researchers were able to replicate near human cornea transparency. The research was published in a recent issue of Biofabrication. The 3D printed corneas are a significant advancement in corneal tissue engineering. And, you know, I can think of about 12.7 million people waiting to see how human trials go. I'm not afraid of them, they're just stupid. China has unveiled a new bullet train prototype that, if everything goes well in tests, could be in service as soon as 2021. The Magnetic Levitation, or Maglev train, was developed by a state-owned company, China Railway Rolling Stock Corporation, or CRRC. It reportedly tops out at about 372 miles per hour. And while that's no 633 miles per hour like we saw three years ago, I mean, you know, people are actually gonna be riding this one. The world record for a Maglev train is held by a Japanese company that set the mark in April 2015 at 375 miles per hour. Maglev technology takes the friction out of the equation by using magnets to push the train off the track and propel it forward. According to CRRC's deputy chief engineer, the bullet train will be faster than flying. Right now, to go from Shanghai to Beijing, it takes five and a half hours by rail or four and a half hours by plane. With this new bullet train, it's gonna take about three and a half hours. To put that in perspective, that's like going from New York to Chicago in just three and a half hours. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.
Thank <laughs> you.